YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this video. I'm incredibly excited for this video because we are going to be talking about how to stay consistent with your weight loss. And I'm really excited for this because as you probably know, it's not, maybe it is sometimes, but most of the time it's not a lack of like information that is causing you to not be consistent with your weight loss. Cause you probably know, eat in a calorie deficit. You probably know, eat less, move more, right? Everybody knows that. We should eat healthy foods, we should exercise more, all these things, right? Why is it not happening? I hope in this video, I'm gonna give you a mix of practical, like tactical, actionable things you can put into your daily life, as well as mindset things to consider and think about, because again, oftentimes why you're not staying consistent with your weight loss it's up here, it's in between your ears. And so in this video, hopefully I can do a great job of combining those two things to get you on the right track and seeing progress and seeing results and seeing that you can, in fact, be consistent. And so there's three main points I'm gonna touch on here. Hail Mary versus a three yard run, which if you get that reference, I appreciate it. I'll explain what I mean. Um, we're gonna talk about tracking something and we're gonna talk about that little voice inside of your head. We all have this little voice. We're gonna talk about that little voice and that's a really important concept. That's actually why I left it for last because I need you to make sure you watch until the end. So make sure you stay until the end. But let's cover first and foremost the Hail Mary versus the three yard run. And if you don't know what that means, if you're not a football reference person, um, I can put it in basketball terms. I can say a three point shot versus a layup. I can put it in baseball terms, a home run versus a single. Essentially what I'm trying to get at is when most people go into their weight loss journeys, they're trying to throw a Hail Mary. They're trying to hit a half court shot. They're trying to hit a home run. They're trying to go for everything all at once. You're trying to, you're trying to change everything all at once. You're trying to see progress as fast as humanly possible. You're trying to see progress overnight. You're getting upset when you're not seeing progress overnight. That's what most people's mentality is when they dive into a fitness journey, a weight loss journey, versus a three yard run, which is much less sexy. Like it's cool to hit a half court shot. It's cool to score a touchdown and throw a, throw a Hail Mary. It's cool to hit a home run. Like those things are exciting. They're fun, they're cool. Duh. A three yard run in football, not that exciting. Hitting a single in baseball, not that exciting. Getting a layup in basketball, not that exciting. But it's consistent. You notice how, I don't know if, uh, how much of a sports fan you are, but for I'll use all those terms again. For example, there are much more you know layups made than there are three point shots. There are much more singles hit in baseball than home runs. There are much more three yard runs in football as opposed to Hail Marys. Like in football, you're not just like, and I mean like American football, by the way, you're not just like throwing a Hail Mary every single time that you get, that the offense gets the ball. That's just not, it's not sustainable. It's not consistent. It's not a good strategy to consistently produce results. The same thing goes for your weight loss. So I put some things here side by side that I kind of want to talk about. And again, remember, m most people's mentality when they go into this weight loss journey is they're trying to get everything to happen all at once. They're trying to go super restrictive. They're trying to make progress as fast as humanly possible. They're trying to change every single thing. And, you know, for example, they're only trying to eat 1,200 calories. They're trying to work out seven days a week. They're trying to only eat clean foods. They're trying to lose 10 pounds a month. And all that stuff, feel like it sounds sexy, right? It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna work out every single day and I'm gonna lose all this weight. I'm gonna do all this stuff. And it sounds like very sexy, right? The issue is that does not breed consistency. In the same way, trying to throw a Hail Mary on every single down in football does not breed consistency. This over here does not breed consistency. Why is this? You are trying to set this bar so high that there's just no way you are going to be able to hit this bar consistently and sustainably day after day, week after week, month after month. What's gonna happen eventually is you're, you're gonna skip a workout day. Like it's just gonna happen, it, it, life happens. You're going to eat over 1200 calories. It, it, it's just, it, it is what it is, it's gonna happen. You're not gonna lose 10 pounds every single month. It is what it is, it's gonna happen. You're not going to only eat clean foods because you live a real life and you can't just eat chicken and broccoli every single meal. Like, these things are going to happen. So what happens when these things do happen? Again, this is where we talk about the mentality and what's going on in between your ears. 
when you when you set these things so high and like you feel like you have to be perfect and, and hit a hail mary hit a, hit a home run every single time or throw a hail mary or hail mary or hit a half court shot when you don't hit that what happens you feel like a failure you feel like you're not doing enough you feel like you fucked everything up you feel like you know what you're doing isn't going to produce results and you feel terrible and not only that do you feel terrible that bleeds into you get so burnt out of it because it's so extreme. It's so over the top. You're trying to lose weight so quickly. So those two things combined, you feel like a failure and it's so restrictive. So you can't be consistent with it, which means you're going to burn out and you're going to quit and give up. This is why a lot of people will go through these cycles where they diet really hard, they're all in and then they're all out. And then they're all in and then they're all out. Why is that? They're trying to throw a Hail Mary every single down. They're trying to go to this extreme of this, of, this, of this guidelines they're trying to put on themselves. And when inevitably, either you don't hit the guidelines and you feel like a failure, which then leads you to feel overwhelmed, stressed, all these things, that's going to lead you to quit because who, who's going to be consistent with something that they feel they're always failing with? or they're always not being consistent with, or they're always, you know, they're, they're always feeling down on themselves. How do you expect to be consistent with that? It's literally impossible. Think about it for a half second. How, how are you going to be consistent with something that you always feel like you're failing, that you're never doing enough, you're never seeing enough progress, all these things. There's no way you're going to be consistent. And on top of that, again, since it's so extreme and it's so restrictive, you're going to get burnt out. You can't keep it up. You're gonna get, you're gonna do it for a little while, get burnt out, quit, try to restart, and again, that's how that cycle happens. So, as opposed to trying to take on all these things and make the most progress and throw a hail mary or hit a home run every single time, every single day, what you have to then shift your mindset into doing is, as opposed to hitting a home run, you gotta hit a single. As opposed to throwing a Hail Mary, you gotta just do a three yard run. As opposed to hitting a half court shot every single time, you have to get a layup every single day. And what I mean by that is like, again, I put it over here. As opposed to this over restrictive, over extreme over here, you just hit singles every single day. You hit layups every single day. You, you, you do three yard runs every single day. As opposed to trying to eat 1200 calories, you hit 1700 calories. As opposed to trying to work out seven times a week, you work out three times a week. As opposed to only eating clean foods, you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to work in two servings of vegetables per day. As opposed to losing 10 pounds per month, you don't even focus on the weight loss, which we'll talk about here in a second. You say, hey, I'm going to have protein at every single meal. This over here, not sexy. Let's be honest, not sexy. Not anything groundbreaking, not anything where, oh yeah, I'm going to lose so much weight and see so much progress by eating two servings of veggies per day. People are like, oh, that's way too basic. It's way too simple. That's the point. That is exactly what you want because the basic, the simple, guess what? You're probably looking at this and you're like, I can do that every single day. Like, yeah, I can probably hit two servings of vegetables. Yeah, I can probably hit protein every single meal. Like, yeah, I can work out three times a week. Like... You can do this consistently. What is the point of this video we're watching right now? I'm doing, you're watching. How to be consistent. You can be consistent with this day after day after day after day. So you're hitting, you're hitting a single every day. You're getting a layup every single day. You're doing a three yard run every single day. And you're doing that over the course of a week, two weeks, four weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, years, years, years. That's how you can be consistent. You're not trying to throw a Hail Mary every single time anymore and you're getting frustrated, you're getting burnt out. Like over here, if you set these as your guidelines, which I strongly encourage, you know, obviously everybody's different, but setting guidelines like these, you're gonna finish every single day and you're gonna check that thing off that day. And I would literally write it down and check it off because like I can tell you right now, like I have this thing right here. I don't know if you can see, but literally I check my checklist off every single day and I have three to five things every single day that I get done. If you check these things off every single day, imagine how accomplished you're gonna feel. Imagine how proud you're gonna feel. Imagine how motivated you're gonna be by seeing yourself check these things off day after day after day after day. 
you're gonna feel proud, you're gonna feel accomplished. It's gonna motivate you to keep going as opposed to over here where you're like, oh my God, I missed a workout. I feel like a failure. I feel like shit. Oh my God, I went over my calories. I feel like shit. Like this breeds inconsistency. This breeds consistency. And you have to, the only way to create real change in your life is consistent action day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. That's how you create change. That's the only way to change your life is through consistent action. So why would you not pick a plan from the beginning that is going to lean towards you being able to be consistent with it? Because that's what's going to create change anyway. You're not going to see change doing this. You might see change in the short term, very short term, short term, term, very short term, not in the long term because you can't be consistent. You're trying to throw Hail Marys. You're trying to shoot half court stop shots. Stop doing that. You have to shift more of your mindset towards simple, basic things every single day to build up that consistency. Because here's the thing. When you check these things off every single day and you get these things done every single day, again, you're going to feel better, man. You're going to feel more proud. You're going to feel like, wow, I, I actually can do this. And this is a whole side topic, but I'll talk about it. One of the most important things when it comes to being consistent and seeing progress is something called your self-efficacy, which basically just means how much do you believe you can actually do this? How much do you believe you can actually do this? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like, yep, no matter what, this is going to happen. 1 being, eh, there's no way I can do this. On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you can actually get this done? Over here, not very high self-efficacy. And if you don't have high self-efficacy, which means you don't even believe you can do it, why would you stick with something if you don't believe you can do it? Like, that makes no sense. Like, if I knew, like, if I, knew I had no shot at anybody watching this video, or if, if I thought I had no shot at anybody watching this video, I wouldn't make the video. I wouldn't do anything. If, if I walked into, here's, here's a great example. If, if I gave you a lottery ticket and I was like, hey, this ticket is going to get, you know, this number, it's going to make sure that you win the lottery. There's a 99% chance. You're going to be like, oh, shit. And you know, I, I'm like, oh, but this ticket costs $10,000. You're going to be like, I don't give a shit how much it costs. I know I have a 99% chance of winning the $100 million lottery. Yeah, I'm buying a fucking ticket. Because you know it's going to happen, basically. As opposed to if I said, hey, here's this ticket for $10,000, but your chances of actually winning are 4%. You're going to be like, I'm not fucking giving you $10,000 because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it, right? It's the same concept here. You have to believe you can actually do something. And, and this over here, breeding inconsistency, breeding there's no way I can do this, breeding I'm a failure, no shit you can't be consistent. Because all you're doing is this negative self-talk because you're setting yourself up for failure from the beginning. So please, this is a very important concept. So many people try to take on so many things at once. Stop doing that. Set yourself three to five things every single day that you get done. I know it might seem simple or I should be doing more or whatever the case may be. No, you shouldn't be doing more because you can't be consistent with doing more. You're setting yourself up for failure. Give yourself three to five things every single day that has to get done for your health and fitness, for your weight loss. And I promise you, you will start being more consistent. And the more consistent you are, the more progress you'll see, the more progress you see, the more motivated you'll be. All this stuff will also bleed into a higher self-confidence, higher self-esteem, higher self-efficacy, saying that, wait a minute, I actually can do this, which we'll talk about here in a second with the little voice, okay? So very important concept. Please make sure you understand this. Now, moving slightly from that, number two is kind of a slight difference, but track your consistency. Like if you want to be more consistent, awareness creates change. What gets tracked gets improved upon. So if you're tracking your consistency, if you're making yourself aware of your consistency, you're going to see change and you're going to improve upon it. And I talked over here about like not setting a weight loss goal. You shouldn't set a weight loss goal. Cool. If you want to lose 50 pounds, like th that's great. But when you're actually doing it, you're not going to lose 50 pounds unless you take the consistent action every single day to get there. You do realize that, right? You, you can't see the end result unless you do what it takes along the way to get to that end result. So as opposed to focusing on the end result, start focusing on the work that it takes to get to the end result and start tracking that. And again, that's why I say track your consistency with how many times a week you hit your calories. 
Track how many times a week you hit your workouts. Track how many times a week I got my two vegetables per day. Track your consistency. Stop, tr stop only focusing on the end result. Stop focusing, like the number one question I get is like, how long will it take to see results? A long time. If that's what you're thinking, you're already lost. So you gotta reframe your thinking. Again, we talked about a lot of this is up here, mentality. How long will it take to see results? Are you kidding me? That's like, going to, that's like working for a week and going to your boss and saying, hey, when can I retire? You've worked for a fucking week, Cheryl. What are you talking about retire? So don't ask me that question ever again. Don't even ask yourself that question ever again. So you need to focus more on tracking your consistency. Literally, day by day, track your consistency. Track it over the course of a month. I guarantee you, if you go back and look the last month of how consistent you've been, you're gonna be like, oh shit, wow. I uh, <laughs> didn't know I was being that inconsistent because the two things we do as human beings is we overestimate how consistent we are being and we underestimate how many calories we are eating. Those are the two things us as humans do, but we're talking about consistency right here. So you might think, oh man, I'm being so consistent, da -da, and you go and track your consistency, and you're like, oh, holy crap, like I only hit calories 50% of this month. 50% is an F, if you didn't, like in grade school, it's an F. So, I mean, if, if you're 50% consistent, that would be an F. So it's just not good enough to see progress. So when you track your consistency, track you know every single day, how many days did you hit your calories versus how many days you did not hit your calories? How many days did you hit your workouts on the days you were supposed to versus how many days did you not hit your workouts? Track your consistency with the consistent action, the day by day by day action, the mundane. It's so boring. I don't care. That's how you get progress. You don't get progress by just focusing on the end result. Again, you're trying to throw a Hail Mary every single time. You're trying to hit a half court shot every single time. It's not how you be consistent. You are consistent with daily actions every single day. So please start tracking your consistency. What gets tracked gets improved upon. Awareness creates change. Remember those two things because when you make yourself aware of your consistency and you actually track your consistency, it's gonna create change and you're going to improve upon it. So start tracking your consistency, all right? And last but not least, the little voice. And again, we're really gonna go kind of in depth with the mental side of things here. It's really important. We all have that little voice. You know what I'm talking about. The little voice that says, I'm too tired to work out. I'm too busy to work out. I don't feel like working out. It's not a big deal. I don't have to stick to my calories tonight. It's not a big deal. I don't have to track my calories. I'll just cheat. I'll give myself a day. I deserve this or whatever the case may be. And again, I'm not saying you got to be perfect. That's not what I'm saying at all. But we have this little voice inside of our head. And the more every single time. So number one, you have to make yourself aware of that voice, which is the most important part because so many people, you know, it's there. But again, you don't create awareness around it. You just kind of let it overtake you and overcome and, and it, it controls your actions. Actions, right? It all comes back to actions. You let that little voice just kind of take over and then it controls your actions. I'm too tired to work out. You don't work out. Uh, I don't want to stick to calories. You don't stick to calories. All this stuff breeds what? Inconsistency. Because you're letting this little voice take over and then it's flowing out into your actions. You have to make yourself hyper aware of this voice inside of your head, hyper aware, stop everything you're doing, say, I know this voice is telling me this. Every time that voice comes up, that is a positive opportunity for you to change your life. And I really need you to understand this. Every time that voice comes up, that is an opportunity for you to win and beat that voice and change your life. Because the more, and I'm going to, Stick with me. The more this voice in your head comes up of, I'm too tired, I don't want to do this, da -da, and you can talk yourself out of that voice and say, no, 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 I am making myself aware of this. Okay, this is what this voice is telling me, but I know I need to hit my workouts. I'm going to go make sure I go do my workout. This voice is telling me not a big deal to stick to calories. I'm going to make sure I stick to my calories. Guess what? Now, when you wake up the next morning, you are going to be so proud of yourself you're gonna feel so accomplished, you hit your workout, you stuck to your calories, you feel great, this is gonna motivate you to keep going and, and keep taking action, and if you keep taking action, you're gonna see more progress, and if you see more progress, then you're gonna to wanna to get motivated to keep going and keep seeing progress, and this cycle happens over and over and over and over. So the more you can conquer and talk yourself out of this voice and not let that voice dictate your actions, every single time you do that, you are making a positive change in your life. 
Every single time you do that, you're also depositing into your confidence bank. And we talked over here about self-efficacy and like actually believing you can do something, right? If this voice always takes over and you always listen to it and you never, you never overcome that voice and you always skip workouts and you always fall off your diet and all that kind of stuff, the more you let that voice overcome you, of course you're not gonna be confident because you're not, you're not confident in yourself that you can do the things you say you're going to do. Why would you be confident if you can't do the things you say you're going to do? So every time this voice comes up, and again, I'm too tired, I got too much stuff to do, or I fucked up and I'm not perfect and all that kind of stuff, whatever that voice is telling you, the more you can talk yourself out of that voice and overcome that voice and beat that voice and win against that voice, that is that much more you're changing your life, that is that much more proud of yourself, it's that much more you're gonna build your self-efficacy, build your self-esteem, build your confidence to now you know, no matter what, I got this. Like I'm sticking to this and I'm gonna hit my actions and I'm gonna keep going and I can do this. And that self-efficacy then allows you to keep working hard and honestly work even harder because you know that you can do this. And if you know for a fact you can do it, you're gonna do the actions, you're gonna put in the work necessary to then get it done. Cause let's be honest, this shit is hard. It's not easy, it's never gonna be easy. So you have to make sure every time you win against this voice, that creates confidence in yourself. And the more confidence you have, the more you can make yourself, it, the, the most successful people, it's not like this voice goes away. I can tell you for myself, and I'm the expert and the professional, it doesn't go away. To this day, I'm like, oh, I'm too tired, I don't wanna go work out, these kind of things. But I just know how to make myself aware of it, and I know how to beat that voice. The more you can make yourself aware of it, and the more you can beat that voice and win against that voice, Every single time you do it, you're making deposits into your self-confidence bank, into your self-efficacy bank. And the more deposits you make, the bigger it grows, just like your bank account. The more deposits you make, the bigger it grows. The bigger it grows, the more beneficial it's gonna be for you. So every single time that voice comes up in your head, you have to find a way to make yourself aware of it. I would literally stop everything you're doing, make yourself aware of it and say, mm, this is what he was talking about. This is what, this is the time and almost like get excited because like when these times come up, that is again, a positive opportunity for you to make a change. So many people think of this as a negative, like, oh, I don't want to work out da, da, and it becomes this negative thing. No, no, no. It's a positive thing. It's actually a good thing because the more you do it, the more deposits you make into your account. In the same way, you don't get upset when you put money into your account, do you? Like you see your bank account grow, like and you're like, oh, this sucks. No, you're fucking stoked. Same thing here. Every time this comes up, it is a positive opportunity to deposit into your self-confidence bank, which is going to allow you to stay on track and be consistent. So guys, that was the video today. I hope it helped you. I kind of got fired up here, but I really, 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 this shit really means a lot to me because this, like these right here, I promise you with all of my heart, if you're still watching this, number one, thank you. But number two, if you're still watching this and you truly take this stuff into action and take it to heart and actually do it, I promise you it's going to change your life. I'm not sitting here yelling in my apartment complex. I'm not yelling. People next to me can probably hear me. Like I'm not doing this for fucking fun. It is fun to me, but I want to help you. I want you to win. So take this stuff with you and put it into action. Don't just watch it like, oh, that's great. What did I say the entire time? Action, action, action. That's how you create consistency, consistent action. So put this stuff into action. I promise if you do it, you're gonna see progress, right? So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed me yelling, feel free to subscribe and do all those cool things and we'll chat soon, okay?